everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make a double pop-up card. This one was actually requested by three, maybe four people. And it's by, I was sent the video by Tanu Creative. And then I also saw that Craft Store had done an earlier version, uh, both on YouTube. And then I thought I would try it myself because I was looking at them and I thought there must be an easier way. I put together my way and then it started to pull on the card stock. So then I had another look and I saw that Shrishri Shrish 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 Patil, apologies for, again for getting your name wrong, and she had done it very similar to how I'd thought to do it and she'd added an extra piece and that's what I've done. So enough of me talking, this is what it is. You open it up and you have these two floating panels that pop out either side. And you can see how it all works here. I forgot to rub the pencil out, but again, I can easily just do that later on. But it, you can see there, it's a really lovely effect. You can have this as a landscape or it will stand up as a portrait. These are designed more for scrapbook layouts. So a lot of the ones that I saw were very big. So I've adjusted the measurements to make this fit into a five by seven size. Today, I'm gonna do the portrait version. I haven't decorated the front of this yet. Again, I've not long finished my Facebook Live. So I thought I'd just carry on and get this one filmed. But I just wanted to show you how it would look as a landscape. And you can also just have one of them. And we were saying about having, you know, you could have some clouds or a rooftop. You could have the chimney at the bottom here for Santa and you could have things popping out this way. So you don't have to have both of them on there. It's a really fun design and it's very easy. So let me show you how. OK, so I've made this for a five by seven card. So this is a piece of ten by seven. And along the ten inch side, you want to score at five inches bring that down a little bit there we go just a five inches fold that in half so you've got your card blank I've then cut four pieces of four and three quarters by six and three quarters so I've decided to decorate this slightly differently so this is going to go on the front so I've kept the front pretty simple the idea is is that you'll display this open I've then got that one for the back then these two are to go inside so I've done it slightly different I'm not using pattern paper I've just stamped this so I'm going to have one either side and you want to stick these down first of all because you're going to stick the mechanism on top but I just thought with this one being a portrait when they lift up you'll see these little sides um, you know this detail and then this one's for the back so you've got your space to write your message okay so four and three quarters by six and three quarters and I'm going to get them all stuck down next you want to cut yourself one or two pieces depending if you want to do the double or the single and these are six and a half by three and a quarter along the six and a half side you want to score at three and a quarter you'll then have those three and a quarter squared sections again just score this one here and then to go inside I've got myself four pieces of three by three so I've stamped and colored these I've done exactly the same as I did on the other card so I'm going to have this one at the top so I'm going to stick that one and that one in there and then this one is going to be at the bottom so I'm going to have that one and that one there the stamps that I've used are from card making magic versus for the to a lovely friend on your special day the floral stamp set is the woodware classic rose bunch which is this one here this is the peony bloom there's two separate sets in this wallet but it's the classic rose bunch that i've used to create that and then for the front may your day be filled with love and laughter is from this set and i think this was free with a magazine it was many years ago before i started labeling things so if anybody remembers that one let me know but um that's all i know about that one so i'm going to get these now stuck down you then want to cut yourself four pieces of two by two and a half along the two inch side you want to score at one inch and then get rid of your scoreboard we need to add these lines here so I just brought a template in because you'll see it better then on that purple card. So this is that one inch score line right through the middle here. So everything that's got red over it is where you're gonna score. These two lines here are really just guides. So pop it along the longer side and with a pencil, you do wanna make sure you rub this out, otherwise you'll see it like on my one that I showed at the beginning, but just mark one inch in on each side and you'll have, so this is just one inch in here and then here and you'll have that half inch section so again I'm just going to come down along the bottom here so one inch 
on each side and then just lightly pop a line there. Like I said, it's just a guide. So you can see my pencil marks there. And pop it back this way and then you're going to score. You're basically just scoring across the four squares in each corner. So rather than put a pencil line, I'm just going to score straight away. And I'll take a picture of that template and I'll pop it on my blog. Okay, so you can see now my score lines. Next, you want to fold these two up towards you. So they're valley folds. The middle will become a mountain. So you have this effect here. And then these last two are going to become um, mountains, <laughs> mountain folds. So just pinch them. And as you pinch those, this one will become a valley. And can you see how you're pushing that in? to create this shape here. Now I'm going to rub that pencil line out and then just push that all back in. So there you will see that shape and you want to do that four times. So you have these. Okay, so I'd started sticking this all down. First of all, stuck it down, it was right, but I thought it was wrong. And then I stuck it down wrong and realized I got it right the first time. <laughs> so because of that reason, obviously I'd started sticking it on here. I had to redo this panel. Fortunately, I was able to peel off the one I'd already stuck down. So I quickly stamped that, coloured it, and now here we are again. So what you want to do is with the one that you're going to have on the top is this piece. You want to have this pointy end here where we folded it inside. So the winged end is always going to be on the outside. You want to stick that so it's kind of flush with the top. I come down just a little bit because you want to make sure you're definitely not going to see it when you open up this piece here. So I'm going to add my glue on these two sides here. So another way to make sure you're sticking it in the right way is make sure the folded side is facing down, the open side is facing up. Pop the glue all in there. I'm just going to spread it out with my finger. And then again, make sure this is the right way up. Openings on the left hand side and then I'm just going to pop it in there, but come down just a little bit, just so I can make sure it's all hidden. And then you want to make sure that this is a right angle, perfect right angle. If you turn it that way, well, that way you've got like an L shape. Just make sure and that will mean that this is all straight. Fortunately, this is all going to be hidden. You'll never know I, I stuck it down wrong. Then you're going to get your next one again. You want to make sure your fold is facing down, the opening's facing up, and you're sticking it in that piece where it folds in. If you do stick it other ways, it's, it won't actually be wrong. It would just mean it will move differently. So they may both move in the same direction or they both move inwards, which means they would hit each other. So you probably don't want to do that way, but there are some other ways to make it kind of move. Again, I'm going to sit this and I'm going to come down about a quarter of an inch and just stick it in there. And again, I'm just making sure that this is a nice right angle here. So don't worry if you have stuck it down and then peeled it off. You can see I have and it's going to be fine. But now when it opens, this is going to be stuck and it means it will move up, but you won't see any of this inside. OK, so pop that one at the top and then this one's going at the bottom. So this needs to come down this way. So again, you're going to get this one and you want to make sure that the opening again is facing the outside and the folds always facing in. You can see here these folds are facing in. These folds are facing in. Again, popping my glue all on that triangular section. Spread the glue out. Again, make sure it's the right way up. I'm going to bring it down again, just come up just a little bit. And again, make sure that that's at that right angle. And then get the last one. Again, spread that all out. And stick it again just above. And just make sure it's all lined up. It's okay, so when you open this one up, these should be pointing in this way with your picture, whatever it is you've got facing the right way. And when you open this one up, you can see the arrows, you want both your arrows all pointing inside to the middle of the card. OK, next we're going to stick these down. So I'm going to flip it over and do I'm going to stick onto the left hand side first. So I'm just adding my glue. Like so. And then what I would suggest is if you line the top of this up with your matte layer, and then you want to make sure that these points are just sitting next to the score line. 
like so. Again, just make sure that runs nice and straight with your matte layer there. Just gonna pop something on there for a minute and then grab the bottom one again, open it, make sure it's the right way. And I'm just gonna add my glue onto these two. And again, I'm gonna sit this one down and make sure it lines up this time with the bottom of the mat and then just pull it out until they sit just next to the score lines. You don't want it on the score line, otherwise it's just gonna buckle them. They're gonna just, it won't sit very nicely. Okay, and what you can also do is when you lift them, you'll see this one goes up, this one starts to come down. So now all that's left to do is pop your glue on all of these. So you can stick it now all down at the same time and then just close the card up. And then whilst that's still drying, I'm just going to decorate the front with some of these embellishments. So I'm gonna do a couple of sizes and I'm gonna go for these ones here. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of glue and just stick a few of these down. So that's the front of the card all finished and now we can open it up and we get that lovely pop-up. I think it's really, really good. Thoroughly enjoyed putting this one together. I love that I've just used the stamps to make like a pattern paper this time. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays to a lovely friend on your special day, wishing you happiness in every way. And then you've got your space on the back there to write your message. It will fit in an envelope and it will stand up like so. So that's your portrait. And then this was the one I done through the live. Learned a lot doing this one, like remembering to rub your pencil marks out and that I think it's nicer to have, it depends how you decorate it, but I think it, it works better to have maybe a plainer background because then the pop-up mechanism really does pop. But that's the landscape. So again, you can see that stands up that way or you can have that one that way. So yeah, which one's your favourite? Do you prefer portrait or landscape? I think I prefer the portrait. But I'm going to do this again in a six by six size as well. So keep an eye out for that. That one will be coming in the near future. And yeah, that's my take on the double pop up card. Really like this style. So thank you for watching. As always, I will share any links of the product that I've used today in the description box below. If you haven't subscribed and you've enjoyed today's tutorial, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you click the notification bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new tutorial. And also popping up now will be some more videos that you might want to watch next. I'll pop some other pop up styles there that you might enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'll be back again soon.